Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm gonna try out the India Fox Teco MB339. This is a payware plane I got off of Sim Market. It's newly released. It costs 20 euros. So we're gonna see whether it's worth it. Uh, I'm not gonna test everything possible. It's, it is new and probably things need to be fixed. But I'm just gonna get a sense of it and see whether I would fly around the world in it. Because I have a MB339 in DCS world. And it's a freeware one too, and it's pretty good. It's uh, you know cockpit is set up right. It looks very nice outside and works well. And of course, it can do weapons and things can be shot and everything. So that's an attractive thing in DCS world that we can't really do in Flight Sim 2020. The one thing we can do in Flight Sim 2020 is tour around and uh, you know enjoy a flight around the world for instance and I would like a plane that's uh, fast and nimble and the thing that sort of fits the bill so far is like the Cessna Citation uh, but you know it's not quite as nimble as I'd like because anyway I, I wanted a fighter jet but this you know we don't have fighter jets yet hopefully India Fox Echo will get some more fighter jets because they that seems to be their specialty uh, though they their only other plane for uh, flights in 2020 right now, and it's actually nice that they have two because not many people have planes out for flights in 2020 right now. But the other plane is also interesting. It's a Rutan Long EZ, uh, not a particularly fast plane, but certainly unique. So I might be interested in that as well. But taking a look at the MB339, uh, there's two variants: the A and the Pan, which is a aer aerobatic one. Um, the aerobatic one only has one livery. That's uh, the standard tricolor sort of thing. And here we have a bunch of liveries, uh, sort of a grayish one. Unfortunately, they don't give an identifier for the livery in particular, like whether it's the Argentina Air Force or something like that, which I think there is one for Argentina in, in the package. But uh, yeah. So we have an array of liveries that all look good, but I'll just stick to this one up front. And the A version has more fuel. Uh, its uh, wingtip pods carry more fuel in them. So if you want the extra range, that's probably one. The aerobatic one is just meant to be maneuverable and carry smoke pods. I don't know if the smoke pods work, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so we'll, we'll go full fuel and see how that works out for us. And I'm taking off from Milan and going to Rome. That is the planned flight. Okay, let's go. Okay, so taking a look outside. Nice PBR textures. Just taking a look. Seems fairly well done. Certainly better quality than freeware usually. It only has the front cockpit, which is fine by me. And so this is the cockpit. You can see in detail. And again, it does look better than the DCS World Freeware one. Got the battery generators. These are clickable. I'll do the startup procedure some other time. I'm just gonna get a sense of how to fly it and how well it flies. So with that, we'll throttle up a bit and release the brakes. Thank goodness it seems to have an anti-skid system. That's good. Okay, gear up. Sound is okay. I mean, I haven't flown the actual thing, so my views on the sound may be incorrect. Now that's a nice look. Wonder why our flight plan didn't get loaded in. Well, let's see if the sim can keep up with this.
I think the red line on this is at 450 knots. Well, this is about as fast as I've flown at this altitude in the game. I'm not at the full throttle, I'm only at 80 odd percent. They said they fixed the VFR map. So that doesn't crash the game or anything. Wow, it seems to lag the heck out of the game though. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I don't want to continue on to Milan like we were supposed to. Not unpleasant to fly. Um, I don't know, this flight director, I guess, is the autopilot here. This panel. Standby uh, heading. In theory, it should turn to this heading selector, right? I don't know, maybe the autopilot's not working. I looked at the manual, um, it didn't say anything about the autopilot except that that flight director panel existed. It has a lot of checklists that look like they're basically from the official stuff. You know, it has all sorts of diagrams and stuff that looks like the official procedures for the plane, so... Uh, altitude hold? No? Well, I don't know if the autopilot's doing anything. Maybe there's some other autopilot button I need to use. Okay, VFR map. So Milan is over there. Now again, I'm recording at the same time as I'm playing, so... If you've got the same hardware, which in my case is an i7 4790K, 32 gigs of RAM, and uh, RTX 2070, one would expect you would get better performance, not worse. I mean, admittedly, I'm giving it a lot to do. If only I, if I was flying at general aviation speeds, I'd probably be better off. Nice rendition of Milan, though. Milan is actually a point of interest on the map, so presumably they've done some extra work on it. Seems like we've got some extra buildings here and there. I don't know about that spike though. By the choice of planes in the game, I've gathered that they really did not want us flying this speed at this height. I think those uh, those buildings were really laggy. It's a little bit better over here with the more auto geny stuff. Well, now that we're away from the city, it's a lot smoother, of course. Up oh, there's the red line, or yellow line actually, but we'll treat it as a red line. This is nice, though. I like going fast. Still not past the speed of sound or anything, but you know, it's an improvement. Without the HUD displays, that would look pretty legit right there. So, you can see it's fairly stable and trim will do the trick. But we are now at a decent height. to retrim. So fairly simple. 
we've picked up speed. Let's try just pulling up and tr flipping around. Seems fine. Didn't uh, argue at all. Okay, so what about this autopilot business? Fuel transfer, I mean, it's a lot of stuff that's, uh oh, I just cut the fuel. Oops. Well, now we're going to have to figure out how to start the thing, I guess. Uh, master ignition switch. Did that work? Or is it just spooling? I think it worked. Okay, I might want to pull up though. Well, that worked. Okay, so if you happen to accidentally toggle the fuel cut off, Master Ignition Switch seems to work pretty well. It did come with a paint kit, so I'm thinking about maybe creating my own NASA delivery for it, hopefully. I'll have to figure that out. Package is pretty uh, hefty. It's 2 gigabytes. I mean, it, the download is 900 megabytes, but... It is not a small plane in terms of size, and, you know, we've got very crafted textures <laughs> looking around here so this is what functions as a GPS here I do wonder what will actually break the plane in terms of g-forces and such I've broken the TBM a few times by overstressing it so, I know it's possible. That was flying through the Grand Canyon, which this might do better. I've really misused the TBM quite a lot. Well, let's see what kind of performance we get at Genoa. It's not a uh, point of interest city, so... Ooh, those cliffs look nice. Those are nice cliffs. So, the airport. Not the worst airport I've ever seen. Pretty good performance with the just auto gen without any special buildings or anything. Genoa has a proper port here. So far, fuel economy seems good. Of course, we don't have an afterburner or anything. I mean, in terms of detail, I feel like this is the most detailed plane I've got. I've got, the obviously, the premium pack or whatever. And all the planes that the game can come with. And nothing is quite this level, inside or with the exterior textures. I know there's a Coronado Mooney Ovation available, but it was too much like the other planes in the game already. But its cockpit looks juicy. I mean, it looks good. The Rutan Long EZ would be very different, and I don't know if it's up to this kind of quality. Of course, it's not as complicated. And we haven't really checked out the systems yet, except for uh, shutting off the fuel and then restarting with the master ignition. But 
you know, the, the autopilot doesn't quite work, it seems, or at least I'm not getting it. So, there might be things that need some work, I don't know, for sure. So, we're flying high here, and I'm passing by Livorno now. We've passed by a few cities. Pisa's actually behind us. Um, not as distinct, though. But right along the river there. The Vorno is sort of easier to spot. Not the easiest plane to climb high in right now. We're getting a little bit frosted over. Um, got that anti-ice on. What other anti-ice can I put on? I need some sort of windshield stuff. Master caution, huh? Windshield. Well, let's put... Nope, these are not clickable. Demist rain removal. We can't do. Don't know what that cabin... Pressure. No, let's keep that. Uh, DI switch off, DI switch on, maybe, I mean that's an engine DI though. Yeah, but while it's uh, sprightly at lower altitudes, its performance higher up does not seem all that great right now. Technically it's never exceed, exceed speed is Mach 0.82. Well, we're not getting anywhere near there, so... <laughs> but there are airliners that can go faster, so... It's not actually visible on the exterior model, either. Whatever this frostiness is. It's all clear on the outside. Well, the icing has cleared up. I haven't descended much, so something must have worked out eventually. We are approaching Rome. I should probably descend now. Well, the Sim's really not going to like the way I'm approaching here. <laughs> We can see back in city right down there. Coming around as I continue to descend. Oh, well, there's a the Coliseum. We'll, we'll fly over it one more time. Uh, here's Vatican City. Oh, uh, where did the Coliseum go? We've got some other landmarks here, though. Oh, there's the Coliseum. Not perfect, but not bad. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Bit choppy right now. Exciting turn. Not bad overall. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to try and land it. Okay.
And we're on the ground. Whoa, steer. Yes, nose wheel steering. All right. Well, it stopped pretty well. So there we have it. My first flight in the India Fox Deco MB339. Uh, overall, I've learned some things about the plane. And I, I don't know how the autopilot works, so I'll have to look into that in further detail. Maybe it's not working. Maybe it's just me. It's a nifty little plane though and fun to fly. And certainly a change of pace compared to the other things that we've got in the sim so far. So that's what I was looking for and that's what I've got. So anyway, as I taxi at great velocity over here, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.